Sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Temp. Um, I stand here with the entire Southern Arizona delegation, uh, and as many of you know, we are going to be passing a joint continuing resolution reflecting and supporting the January 8th memorial. Um, when we think about it, the tragedy of January 8th um, really affected our entire state, if not our entire nation. In fact, many of us uh, were personally affected as we had friends that were wounded or even killed on that tragic day. And working with the January 8th Commission, my colleagues, and reflecting on that day, what I have learned is that our democracy has a resiliency that will not be stopped by extremists. And I appreciate our nation and our community's capacity to heal and to forgive and to take this tragedy and move on and, and prove, again, the resiliency of our, our, of our Republican form of government and of our nation. And it is in that spirit that I would like to ask my seatmate, Representative Victoria Steele, to read the joint continuing resolution. Ms. Steele. Whereas the tragedy of January 8, 2011, at a Congress on Your Corner event in Tucson, resulted in the deaths of six individuals and injuries to 13 others. And whereas our democratic right to participate in our own governance and our ability to have our elected representatives be accessible to us and willing to listen to our concerns cannot be taken from us by violence or intimidation. And whereas the bedrock principles of the freedom of speech and the right to assemble peaceably deserve to be recognized with a suitable memorial, and whereas this notion led concerned community members to create the January 8th Memorial Foundation, and whereas the January 8th Memorial Foundation seeks to commemorate those killed and wounded, and to honor the spirit of Tucsonans who embrace unity, humanity, and hope, even in the face of the collective suffering and heartbreak and the people of Arizona are all connected through compassion, strength, kindness, and goodwill, despite our differences, and recognize the shared humanity that came forth on January 8, 2011, and in the weeks and months that followed. Therefore, be it resolved by the legislature of the state of Arizona that the members of the legislature and the governor of the state of Arizona reaffirm the bedrock principles of American democracy and representative government, which are memorialized in the First Amendment of the Constitution, and which Representative Gabrielle Giffords herself alluded to in the Hall of the House of Representatives on January 6, 2011, when she read about the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances that the members of the legislature and the governor of the state of Arizona stand firm in their belief in a democracy in which all can participate and in which Americans are not silenced by intimidation or threats of violence. That the members of the legislature and the governor of the state of Arizona support the January 8th Memorial Foundation's efforts to create a space in El Presidio Park and a portion of the ground floor of the historic Pima County Courthouse for a memorial that will serve as a place for shared memories, honor those lost or injured, and keep alive the spirit that drew this community together after the tragedy of January 8th 2011 with compassion, strength, and kindness, and encourage the citizens of Arizona to work with the January 8th Memorial Foundation to realize this very worthy goal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that without rejection, uh, objection, the House Joint Resolution 2002 be unanimously adopted. Without objection, the resolution is unanimously adopted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Orr.